Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Today we have completed the 100 video streak on the last 100 days. So thanks a lot for your kind support. We just got a lot of achievement by connecting with you guys. So thanks a lot. So well, once again, welcome back to our daily hacking news series. Hit the like button to give a shout out to our team. So before starting, we are having one question for you once again, in case if there will be any cyber war between US and North Korea then what do you think who will be going to win say your answer in the comment section and we'll give a shout out in the next video now let's get right into the video so first news is related to fbi so the fbi which is called federal bureau of investigation says the black cat ransomware gang which is also known as alpha b has breached the network of at least 60 organizations worldwide between november 2021 and march 2022 the fbi cyber division reveals that this is in TLP White Flash Alert released on Wednesday in coordination with the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Agency, which is called DHS CISA. The Flash Alert is part of the series of similar reports highlighting the tactics, techniques, and procedures used by the indicators of compromised IOC linked to ransomware variation identified during the FBI investigation. So, this is all about the first news. Now, the next news is coming from Hamara Piara, Russia. So five eyes nation, which is the composition of uh, the countries that you are seeing on your screen. So they have released a joint cybersecurity advisory, warning of increasing malicious attacks from Russian state sponsored hackers and criminals group targeting critical infrastructure organization admits the ongoing military surge in UK. So authorities from Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the UK and US said that evolving intelligence indicates that the Russia government is exploring option for potential cyber attack. So guys, what do you think? Each and every country, like the country those who are into 5 eyes, are afraid of Russian hackers. So please comment your feedback. I know what's running into your mind, but I want to know your inputs. Now next news is related to YouTube. So recently YouTube has blocked the campaign account of Hong Kong only candidate for the special administrator region head of government whose name is John Lee Ka Chiu. This is because of the sitting US sanction. So this person Lee was selected by the Beijing and is almost certain to replace current HK chief executive Carrie Lam who is another Chinese community party pick. So after a May 8 election, at the election one four five four members of the committee dominated by pro Beijing politicians and tycoon votes. So Lee often released to be called as Pikachu by the Hong Kong anti-establishment factor and it sound like Lee Ka Chiu and stepped down from his position as secretary for security in Hong Kong to run for a cheap executive spot. So Pikachu just uh, remember the Pokemon's day. Now the last news is related to FBI alert once again. So in US most probably the businesses in farming and agriculture has been warned that they should be prepared to face an increase in ransomware attack in at critical like spinning, planting or harvest. The alert by FBI suggested that the ransomware gang, sea farming and agriculture are a relative target where victims could be more willing to pay a ransom for a decryption key because of the time sensitive nature of the industry. So ransomware attack targeting agriculture could disrupt planting and harvesting operations, potentially impacting the food supply not only the people but also the farm animals sometimes which could disturb the wider food supply chain as well as the causing financial damage to the farmers so this is like this kind of farming they are using some sort of advanced system in us and uk so what do you think in india this kind of farming or this kind of technology will be implemented or will the indian farmer will be that much advanced to use some uh, iot stuffs or some databases to maintain their farming data do you think this is possible in India and if yes, then what do you think when it will be going to happen? I think it will take a box and idea. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment down your feedback. You may subscribe because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your great support for our 100th video. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. Jai.